What is up guys? Ethan Studios here and today I'm going to be building the entire new wave of Ninjago sets in less than 24 hours. Now if I don't get the entire wave built up in 24 hours, I am going to have to smash all of these sets. So stay tuned until the end of the video to see if that happens. But before I can get started on that, I actually need to go and buy the sets. And my closest LEGO store is two and a half hours away. So before I waste any more time, I'm gonna go hop in the car and go buy all the new sets. A few moments later. All right, and after spending a small fortune at the Lego store, small fortune. I am back and ready to begin building. Unfortunately, six hours passed because I did have to stop and get some food, but I am back and I'm ready, and let's begin this challenge. And in the blink of an eye, Young Dragon Ryu is done. The molded wings and head look surprisingly great on this thing for its size, and it has a ton of great building techniques and swoosh ability. Great to get another Wolf Mask Warrior here, and getting Eren and Sora in a cheaper set is fantastic. And speaking of Sora, she has that brand new molded hairpiece, which looks so good and accurate to the show. Eren here gets this new ninja hook climbing piece, which looks great with that dragon detailing. At $16 US, this set is a huge win in my books. You get three desirable minifigs, a really great looking build, and of course Sora's new hairpiece. I'm gonna give this set a Ryu out of 10. And instead of building this one in silence, I decided that I was going to throw on some Dragons Rising to go along with the occasion. I just have to keep the screen way over there so it doesn't get in the frame with my build right over here. Let's begin. All right, and two blinks later, this thing is fully built. And I gotta say, I really like the look of this thing for $20. Taking the minifigs out of the way, there are a lot of great and unique poses you can do with this thing. The dual swords here really give this thing a menacing look as well. As far as minifigs go, I love getting these mech suits in a cheaper set. They only came in a $70 set earlier this year, and the new cow pieces are really, really nice. Nice. This is also the cheapest way to get Cinder, one of the new villains, which is great. And if you're wondering, this is how it looks compared to all of the January mechs. Sora's is still the best. With two out of the six sets already built and plenty of time left in the challenge, I'm going to go take a quick lunch break. So I'll be right back. Later. And before we go any further here, these lights are starting to get way too bright for me. So I'm gonna throw on some sunglasses. And with this thing all built up now, I have to say it looks a lot better than I expected it to. The color scheme here is incredibly unique for Ninjago, and for the amount of pieces included, this thing leaves quite a footprint. The fact that you can fit two minifigs inside this thing is great for play and gives it much more of a realistic vibe. It's got some really nice shocks in the back, and the drivability for this thing is great. These blades on the bottom can also be detached, and you can hang this thing in the air, and shake it around, and it is not gonna break. The durability here is actually quite impressive. Getting five minifigs in this set is a really huge plus for this one, especially that exclusive climber coal, and then we also get that brand new blood sword piece. Look, $50 is obviously way too much for this thing. However, I do think the part count is really deceptive. 
If you can find this thing for around $10 off, I think it's a pretty solid set. Okay, wow, this thing literally has almost three times as many pieces as the last build, and it's only $20 more. To spice things up a little bit, I'm gonna do a challenge for this first bag. For every two pieces that I put together, one has to be taken off, and so forth. And after what feels like an eternity, that first bag is done. And oh man, that was painful. No! 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 All right, my excitement from the end of the challenge for bag one got me distracted and I built this wrong, as you can see here. So I'm gonna snap my fingers and fix it. All right, that looks a lot better. Let's get back to building. And with the climber mech all built up, this one is my favorite set I've built so far. The two arms on top really give it that General Grievous look if you know what I'm talking about, and I think the hooks contrasted with the swords on the bottom make for a really menacing look. This thing also is capable of some great poses, which is hard to find on these bigger mech sets. Much like Eren's car, this one has a climbing hook that you can detach from the back and hang it, bounce it around, and it is not going to break. This thing is extremely durable. There are four minifigs included in this set, Jay being the only exclusive one, with Wildfire only coming in a 4 plus set. Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kai and Jordana, which are both repeats, but are still good to get here. For 70 bucks, I would have liked to have seen one more minifig here, but it's not the biggest complaint in the world. I love this mech. Alright, and just like that, we have made it through the first four sets. Unfortunately, the last two are the biggest ones. What's even more unfortunate is that it's very late and I'm tired from the long day, so I'm gonna go get a little bit of sleep and then wake up and grind out the last two sets before the 24 hours are up. I know I haven't built the Dragonstone Shrine yet, but there's no way it's going to top this masterpiece of a set. Masterpiece of a set. Love the detail used for the Gong of Shattering here, underneath this super creepy floating wolf head. Which, by the way, if you remove this boulder in the middle, you can actually put a minifigure inside it. You can use the new ninja climber hooks to glide down this zip line, or if you want to let gravity do the work, you can just drop him right down yourself. The use of this darker pink color here mixes really well with the dark blue and is such a unique color scheme for this theme. <laughs> Around the back there's this rocky staircase that your ninja can climb up, and on the inside there are some sticker details, as well as this strange looking staff in the middle. I wonder if that'll have anything to do with the actual show. The print quality on this Blood Moon piece here is unlike anything I've ever seen from LEGO before. It almost looks hyper-realistic here. 
This is the last set you'll need to complete the Climber Suit Ninja Collection, and together, let me just say they look magnificent. Overall, this set is a perfect 10 out of 10 for me. I really don't think Ninjago Temples get much better than this. For this final build here, I'm going to refrain from showing you any sort of speed build for the first part of it, and just give you update pictures instead, just to switch things up a little bit. Ready? Let's begin! And I am seven bags into this build, and I still have an hour left in the challenge, so as long as I can finish these three bags over here in an hour, I should get this done and not have to smash my sets. Of course, we will find out if that actually does happen, because I still have to film B-roll for this. B-roll for this. But overall, I really like the look of this thing so far. It's coming together very well. So, let's cut to the end of it. I know I said the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo was my favorite, but I think this one might just beat it out. The detailing is incredible. Whether it be the front or the back, oh my god! There is not a single camera unfriendly angle on this thing. The interior is packed with Easter eggs, including these two really nice stickered elements. Really nice. Nice. There's also this hidden function in the set. It's a very odd choice to reuse Lloyd, Nia, Kai, and Roz here. But of course, the highlights go to Sensei Wu and Euphrasia, who are both exclusive and covered in great detail. I didn't think it could happen, but this set just might beat out the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. It is a great collector's item for older fans of the theme, although I really still don't appreciate that $120 price, especially when compared next to the dojo. And 24 hours later, I have completed every set in this wave. Which one is your favorite? Obviously, I'm still stuck between the dojo and the shrine, but let me know yours down in the comments below. Overall, I love this wave. I think the minifig selection is pretty good. Would have liked to have seen some more villains here, but overall, I'm going to give this wave an 8 out of 10. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and since you did watch until the end, I'm still going to destroy at least one set for you. No! God, please, no!